was just a small taste of the talent that participated in Millersville University's first ever minithon. Taking a stand against something as terrible as pediatric cancer may not always be an easy task. Yet that is literally what Millersville University did on March 7th. From 6 p.m. to midnight, participants in the minithon remained on their feet the entire time as a means of taking a stand against childhood cancer. And all the proceeds of the night went to the Four Diamonds Fund at Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital. Benefactors of the program and research provided by the Four Diamonds Fund even came to share their personal stories about their encounters with pediatric cancer. Once you raise your hand, if you're pretty sure you don't have cancer right now. If the dancers started to run low on energy, there was plenty of food and drinks to keep the dancers going all night long. Not only did the dancers have fuel to keep them going, but there was a plethora of campus music groups, dance performances, dance instruction, and video game competitions to keep them motivated. I was easily caught up in all the excitement and positive energy. But at a certain point, I asked myself, was the talent there found only on the dance floor that night? This great event didn't just happen on accident. This is a very large event that took a lot of planning, and dare I say, talent? So I decided to find one of the organizing members to see what they might have to say about my thoughts. Honestly, I think it was the people running it. Like, I, I really think, like, Ben and Christine and Sarah, the people who were on the committees, Joe, Lindsay, it, it was the people going out to their classes, it was making the interpersonal connection, sitting down and telling someone what Minithon is. That just goes a whole another long step, because if someone's reading about Minithon, that's very interpersonal. But when you sit down and tell them and even tell your story, even I, I've had very little impact by the Four Diamonds Fund relative to me compared to a lot of people with family members themselves have been impacted. But even me just sitting down with someone saying, you know, this is what we're looking to do. This is how we can make a difference at Millersville University. Like we're in the middle of nowhere and this is how we can impact like a national organization and do something really good for people who really need our help. Yeah, I just, I can't speak highly enough for a committee of Chelsea, our co-chair, and Joe on the food, and Lindsay on the, on the finance, and Christina and Sarah, ones that approached me, they're both on the committee as well, and Tim is the PR. I just can't speak highly enough for them and everyone else. They really, without them, it wouldn't have happened. So clearly those responsible for this roller coaster of an event didn't want to take the credit that was their due. So I moved on to ask some of the participants about their reactions to the event. One of the really sad stories, and then they start playing the happy song, and I'm like, <laughs> you gotta give me a minute in between. Do we play a melancholy song in between? Nice, powerful rock ballad. <laughs> it's amazing too. Um, Millersville song is. I was so happy when I found out that we were doing it. Because it's just a great thing. When it's for the kids, oh, I couldn't agree such more. Reporting okay, from Millersville University, I'm Rob Womack. SPK.